guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. So ice cream rolls, I love them. They're my favorite type of ice cream, but you know how you can't really make them at home? You need to have that special type of machine kind of thingy to make ice cream rolls. I know there are toys that you can make ice cream rolls with, but they don't work that well. You really do need that machine to make ice cream rolls. By the way, I've been to the store and made a few rolls myself, like twice before in my life. So I kinda do know how to make ice cream rolls. So I've been searching for ice cream roll machines for like a while, but one day on Amazon, I found one and this is the machine. Oh my gosh, it's an ice cream roll machine. Um, I'm actually really surprised because they're usually the size of a fridge and they cost around like $2,000 to $5,000, maybe even more. But this one costs only $220 on Amazon and it actually has pretty high ratings. Surprised Pikachu face. So I actually have pretty high hopes. I have not opened it and used it yet. So let's see how it works together. So without further ado, making professional ice cream rolls at home. Let's get started. Ta-da! Ooh, okay. There's like random instruction sheets. And... So they come with a pan to make the ice cream rolls. Oh my gosh! This is a legit ice cream roll machine. In three, two... Oh god, I need help. And here's the machine! There's nothing else inside. So let me put it aside. Oh, there's like suction things on the bottom. So you can't really move it once you put it down. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. There's a power button right here. And that's basically it. Instruction manual. Freezing top plate. Stainless steel shovels, operation light, power button, no pre-freezing is needed. That's impressive. Anyways, oh god, I don't think I have the right plug for this. I guess I have to go out to buy the right plug. I walked around for an hour to find this and... Oh god! <laughs> it turned on. It did say I don't need to pre-freeze, but... I think I'm going to wait. <gasps> it's getting cold. <gasps> it's working! But it's not like cold enough to make any ice cream. So I think I'm gonna put it aside and work onto my ingredients. There's more than one way to make ice cream. This one says all you need are some heavy cream and some sweetened condensed milk. But the ingredients I'm going to use today is the one I found on a Japanese site. I'm going to use some heavy cream, milk, eggs, and sugar. Okay, it's getting very, very cold. I think it's ready. I don't know how much I should use. I remember I used like a small cup at the shop, but this plate is so much smaller than the one at the shop. I don't think I should use as much as I did. Okay, so guys, this is going to be my first try. I'm going to try it with like a small scoop. And here we go. Okay, I think we need a little bit more. Never mind. Okay, so like I said, I've made some rolls like twice before in my life. I am no expert in any way, but I learned that to make ice cream rolls, you need to scoop it up and kind of mix it in like so. Okay, right off the bat, it's taking a while to freeze. 
I never thought in a million years I would be making ice cream rolls at home. Okay, it's slowly starting to solidify. Okay, I think this is enough. And now we're supposed to spread it out like so. Using the spatula as a guide, I'm making like a square right in the middle. You need to be careful so the thickness is even. You don't want any holes, so I'm going to keep on spreading it until it completely hardens. Okay, and then we wait until it kind of solidifies. Okay, I think it's ready. Oh god, this is so much fun. And my last one. Okay, so this one was like a mini one. Here, I got this cut from Amazon. I basically get everything from Amazon. And I'm just going to put it inside here. And we're done! I should have gotten a smaller cup. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think it was going to work this well and it worked perfectly fine. The thing is, I got like a really big cup because when I made them at the shop, it was like a lot bigger, so the ice cream became a lot bigger and now it looks very unbalanced, but the rolls are so perfect. However, however, if you look closely at the ice cream, I see some like black dots and I think that's from the pan. I did clean it before I used it, but I didn't like scrub it clean, so I guess I need to clean it a little bit more to make them edible. So hopefully I do better my second round. So for my second batch, I'm going to make some strawberry ice cream rolls. To make it even cuter, I thought it would be really nice to decorate the cup. Now onto my second batch, I'm going to make some strawberry ice cream rolls. It's really easy. All you need to do is put a strawberry in the middle and pour some batter on top. Using the spatula, cut the strawberry into tiny pieces. Honestly, when I tried it with the real machine, it took like a few seconds to solidify so you needed to work really really quick. However, this one takes like a couple of minutes, so I actually found this machine easier to work with. You can take your time and mix it in very, very well. I think I could have added some food coloring to make it pink and make it look more strawberry-like, but I guess this way it's more natural. And after like a few minutes of mixing, it slowly starts to harden up. And when it becomes like, um, what should I compare it to? Like slime consistency? Kind of like mud? <laughs> They both sound so unflattering, but when it becomes like to this kind of consistency, it's time to spread it out. Can you hear the scratching sound? Like you can tell when it's ready. And a quick tip on how to roll, you need to hold the spatula like this, like vertically. And then hold it somewhere like around here. And roll. Okay, this one was not that great. Okay, I think I need to rest it a little bit more. Because I used more batter, it's taking a while for it to completely solidify. Hold it vertically and... Okay, that was not that bad. <laughs> it kind of worked, not perfect, but okay. 
And then using my chopsticks, I'm going to neatly place it inside. And voila! Again, not perfect. But I mean, it's not horrible. I've also got some whipped cream and some cute snacks to decorate. Let me squeeze it in like so. <gasps> okay. I'm going to add some extra strawberries. Adding some sprinkles for the final touches. And my strawberry ice cream roll is complete. I really didn't expect it to be like this nice. So let me try one. Mmm, brain freeze. But this is literally the best ice cream roll I've ever had. It's so fresh, not too sweet, and it tastes so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I'm having the best day of my life. So honestly, it was so good, but I wanted to make one more ice cream. By the way, this is apparently how you clean it between ice cream rolls. You need to scrape off the top and throw them away into a cup. Okay, nice and clean. I think we're ready for our final ice cream for today. I mean, I'm definitely going to make more another day. Okay, lastly, I'm going to make some Oreo ice cream. But to be honest, I don't know how to make it into a drawing. So I just decided to write Oreo. Now onto some Oreo ice creams. To make Oreo ice creams, you need to lay down the Oreos first. Should I go for one more? <laughs> Normally you're supposed to use like only one Oreo, but you know, I mean, I'm at home. I can do whatever I want to do. This time I'm going to use three scoops. Now for Oreos, you need to crush them like so and just mix them in like the strawberry. To be honest, I wanted to make this one perfect as this was going to be my last one, so I did it all without talking. I just wanted to concentrate. So here's me making some ice cream rolls. I hope you enjoy. And this is how it turned out. Again, not perfect, but it was probably because I put too much cookies. Chocolate mint pockies. My very original Oreo ice cream rolls. Oh my god. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm so, so happy I got this machine. It's literally my best purchase in 2020. Anyways, I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!